of the lines wrapped around the venue, excited fans that are ready to see their favorite rap group, and security being extra cautious, some business partners learned about other things besides having fun. boosted me to basically a next level within the city of Nashville. We're able to see a different enterprise of how it works when you're bringing major artists, um, not even just rap artists, to the area. So the more people that arrived to the venue, the heck that the lines got just for the general admission fans. The frustration for the workers at the venue will be pushed to the overload, but after a while, things will become more easy. The Migos' latest album is called Culture, but most just look at it as a name for the cover. Some local artists were grateful to open up for them, understand the real culture of hip hop and rap, and help boost their career endeavors. Um, I felt like this opportunity was a great one for me. You know what I'm saying? It opened up a lot of doors and gave me to exposure to other artists, you know what I'm saying? Just other people, you feel me? The anticipation for the rap group was just getting higher and higher. Multiple hosts and DJs continued to keep the crowd hype. The Limelight venue in Nashville not only just brought out fans, but other upcoming artists from different states. I'm up. It's lit. It's lit. Like, you know, I didn't, I didn't diss so much, man. Been around so many people, like, traveled, you know. So, I'm, I'm from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? But 18 years old, I moved from New Orleans to California. First note, I was playing first note to LA to, to Vegas every weekend, so it's like. The Migos performed their latest hits and showed the crowd what their meaning of culture really is. For News 3, I'm Julian Seifert.